the schedule planner has a scheduled task control chart that allows you to monitor the completion uh, of your project by marking locations for complete. So what we see over here at the bottom is the collection of tasks that I defined. This is the collection of locations. Each cell is a task in a location, so an activity. When I am in the production phase, I can monitor the actual progress by clicking on a cell and telling the program whether it's been started, whether it's been completed, and on which dates. So I just click once and say it started on uh, July 27th, and uh, maybe at the end of the week I walk the site and I say, yes, it has been completed in this location on July 29th, at, what point, at which point the, uh, the cell turns green. Now that information is presented in, um, in the um, flow line uh, with um, the uh, smaller dashes, uh, the smaller dots. This is the actual production. Uh, there's a forecast with the, with the dashed lines. And that information can then be presented in a report as well. Just to show you all the numbers uh, that we store uh, we can run a report. Uh, so these are uh, report views of the schedule planner. I can run a completion report in here that tells me for each of the locations whether a location has been completed, uh, what the quantity put in place is, uh, the targeted consumption, the targeted production rate, and the actual consumption, actual production rate. So this is the kind of information that you would use to communicate with your subcontractor if you're discussing performance or when you're talking to the owner to explain why the status of the project is uh, as it is at the moment. Now all of that information can then be plotted again as well in the histogram. And so when we go back to the resource histogram, we got both target and actual. And you can see how resource demand changes over time based on the current production rate, which we are able to recalculate because we got the quantities inside of the VECO Office database.